Guys, special treat for you today. I'm in a place where I love to be. I'm surrounded by a lot of mango trees. Look at this. We're in the middle of a mango orchard. A beautiful, beautiful place here in Kauai, Hawaii. And I'm here at Umi's farm. This is Umi right here. Hi, Umi. How's it? <laughs> this is his land. He has a lot of trees and a lot of a beautiful land. Not only mangoes, he's growing a lot of different things. And we're going to look around a little bit. We're going to check out some trees and we're going to talk some trees. All right, let's go. Look at this. This is a keep mango. He grows a lot of keep mangoes. And we're here in August and a lot of these are ripening up. We just saw some that got eaten by animals, <laughs> but uh, there's a lot more trees. Umi will tell us all about it. This is a white piri tree and it's flowering now in August, but it gets some, oh, I see, see some fruit. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's got fruit. some fruit. Right, because yeah. even with the powder, it's yeah. it's, it's, it looks like it's shedding some fruit. Yeah, looks but great. This year, the season was pretty early yeah. and fast because of they were, it was poor fruit set this year. Yeah. So like the early mangoes came in uh, May, started in May and June. Yeah. And then now we're on the late mangoes, okay. which is the keep is the ultimate late mango. Okay. Usually we get keeps in October, November. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but because everything was slightly early yeah. this year, yeah. we'll be finishing with the kids in uh, August. This oh, month, wow. In a couple of weeks, should be done. Okay. Yeah. And then, so now now we're getting into pruning, which because of the early season, yeah. we get yeah. pruning starts early. Yeah. It's Usually time to I prune. Get, I try yeah. to get done pruning yeah. uh, all the way through November, but this year we're going to have to be done wow. earlier. Okay. Look at this. Lots of keep mangoes. Woo! He grows a few varieties, not just keep. He grows a handful of varieties. Maybe mm -hmm. we can this talk is, about uh, This one is Raposa. Yeah, Raposa? Yep, and Ooh, so the Raposa is our next to flower. Our first yeah. to flower is, is usually white peary and common mango. Yeah. And, uh, and then the next to flower for us is Raposa. And, and on this row right here is Manzanillo, and and well, they're all Haydens, right? <laughs> they're, yeah. they're all trees back to Hayden. Yeah. <laughs> Manzanillo was a Hayden seedling that started yeah. in Manzanillo, Mexico. Oh, okay. And was selected for being superior. Yeah. And it probably is better than Hayden. Yeah. But uh, yeah. so is Raposa is a Irwin seedling, which is uh -huh. Irwin is a is a Hayden Lippins. Yes, you know combination. So it all goes back to Haiti. Yeah. All, all the all the all the mangoes yeah. just seems to yeah. go back to Haiti. <laughs> Even the keeps is uh, Brooks Lake and Haiti. Yeah. Guys, if you notice the spacing of these trees, this is an ultra high density plan here, right? These trees are really close to each other, and he does that. He's he's uh, this is his orchard style, which is ultra high density. And that way he can put a lot of trees in a small space and become very efficient in his approach. And how's that going so far? <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it was definitely a trial. Yeah. And, and, you know, even if I thought I knew what, what the outcome was going to be every yeah. time it's a learning experience. <laughs> so there's, yeah. there's some adjustments, right? So yeah. this is eight feet by 10 feet uh -huh. and it's doable, but then it's really, this is for hand labor only yeah. because it gets pretty tight in here and right. like I can feel a lot more, but there's no, no tractor that's right. really going right. to get in here. So, yeah. so if you're doing all the work by hand, then yeah, yeah. it's definitely doable okay. and, and, and pretty productive too, yeah. you know, it's been productive, but it all comes down to yeah. a variety. Yeah. If you're yeah. planting with a productive variety, then yeah. you're going to have produ good production. Exactly. Too, right? Yeah. And so, yeah. So yeah. now uh, in, <clears throat> I kind of widen things out just to get me more room for mm -hmm. like tractor work. Yeah. So on my newest fields, I planted those at 10 by 20. Mm -hmm. So that's more like 200, 250 trees okay. per acre. So it's still high density. Right. But uh, give me a little bit more room mm -hmm. in between the rows mm -hmm. to, to yeah. do work. Right? To work. Yep. Yeah. And mm -hmm. not only he's growing these varieties, he's growing, he has some more varieties in the nursery that he plans to plant in the ground soon. So there's more diversity coming. Mm -hmm. And then he's, he's got some local varieties too from seedlings that he really likes and he's going to plant those as well. And we'll see how that goes. This is your trellis system, right? These are the trellis. Yeah. This is the open Tatura trellis. Yeah, that's right. And, and this one too. This one, uh, 
this one didn't hardly give any fruit at all this year. Yeah. So uh, they're all overgrown and really needing pruning. Okay. Yeah. But then they started flowering. That's the Starting problem. Flower right? now. Is that normal <laughs> for like, August? I need a, it's normal, but it, yeah. it doesn't lead to good fruit. Oh, okay. Because okay. it rains too much. Right. Once it hits October. So, yeah. like, this fruit is going to be... This mango is a smaller mango, so probably 100, 110 days to ripe. So, okay. So, this is going to be, like, January, January, February harvest, okay. which... Oh, uh, usually ugly the fruit. Yeah, <laughs> because of too much rain. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so even though it's pretty regular, I I usually hope for poor set, mm -hmm. so that it flowers again. But it's looking mm -hmm. like it's got it in pretty good set. Wow, <laughs> on some Amazing. of some yeah. of the earlier flowering ones. Yeah. yeah. So trellising system here. So this one is mostly white piri, but okay. I also have a row of nam dak mai. Okay. The next row over. Okay. And then I have a row of cheats. All right. And then the rest is, and then so three rows of white berry. Okay. And so, so this one was a little bit better wow. organized. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this place is beautiful, man. He's not growing just mangoes. He has citrus. I saw some jackfruit. I saw some sugar apple. I saw some, and then his nursery. Hopefully, we can look at the nursery over there. He's got a lot of really cool stuff. I saw. Ylang Ylang. I saw a lot of different mangoes. Oh yeah, you also have avocado, right? Uh, avocado. I do have. Uh, I I have a trellis with yeah. avocados, and I have some standalone trees. Too. Okay. Wow. But I had I had a whole acre of avocados yeah. that, that drowned oh, wow. in a lot of rain. We got wow. uh, ten inches of rain overnight. Oh wow! And there's a low spot right in there, oh, right geez. right in this field right there. That yes. was all avocados. And it's a low spot. You cannot really see it there. Uh -huh. But once it fills up with water, yeah. it filled up with like uh -oh. 12 inches of water. Oh, and no. It, and all the trees drown. <laughs> Avocados do not like that no. at all. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> oh, no. Like within three days, it was gone. Yeah. Ooh, trellis style mango growing. Here's some citrus. What, what kind of citrus do you this grow? Is, uh, these are Jambiri lemons. Oh, okay. And they're, they're like bumpy lemons. Okay. They're just seedlings, yeah. which I originally planted just for like, uh, it's, it's, they, they do all right for rootstock. Uh -huh. But um, but they're a pretty good lemon too yeah. for juicing. Cool. For juicing lemonade. They're not good for garnishing okay. as much, but for lemonade, they're great. <laughs> <laughs> so. Banana? Yeah. That Flowers? Is, uh, Highgate banana. Yeah. It's supposed to be. There's one really lonely tree over one there. One lonely survivor. <laughs> All the other ones died. Is that there. avocado? No, that is peanut butter fruit. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. All right. We got flowers here. There's the ice cream. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah that is the ice cream bean. bean. The, the back one. Yeah. Ice cream bean. I have a friend who just started and he yeah. wants to do a food forest in here. Yeah, yeah. I originally had the plan of a food forest, yeah. but. This is Chico. Chico Sapote. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple, but then look, the rats just get them. And they're not oh, even man. close to right. Oh, no. Yeah, so these one probably got a bag. Yeah. But they grow so well in this, right. in Kikau, that I really want to grow this more. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But the rats, they way, think cool. way over there, there's wild mango trees. Oh, really yeah. huge mango trees and banana trees way along the border over there. There's a there's a bunch of old time farmers yeah. right yeah. along their border, so they they manage those trees. Yeah. They're wild trees, yeah, but yeah. They, they, <laughs> they, 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 one of, some of them are yeah. good variety. One yeah. of them, the tall, dark green one, is a keep. That one, the big uh, one you can barely see. Oh, okay. It's kind of over the. Okay. Ace, those are acerola that bushes right there. Oh really? Yeah. There might be fruit on it, but if there is, the fruits only last like a day or two, and then the birds eat them. Acerola cherry. Do you grow Surinam cherry? The I don't, Pitangas? but I just I have two plants in the nursery that uh, my friend oh, wanted man. to plant in here. Yeah, Surinam cherry like spreads super yeah. fast once yeah. they get established. But out here it might be dry enough to where yeah, <laughs> it's not gonna spread as much. Yeah. But like, I, I love that fruit. That one can get yeah. And I'm a big fan of that one. Varieties. Yeah. The newer varieties are like edible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old varieties that they planted when I was a kid was like not no <laughs> not very edible. Uh, are they are they kind of common? Yeah, well, they used to plant them for hedges. 
That's right. So like right. all of our schools had had hedges of oh, really? cherry. So oh dang. You no, know, we we grew up eating them. Wow. <laughs> but but they always had that strong terpene tiny oh, yeah, flavor. Oh yeah, strong, right? Yeah. Yeah, the newer varieties don't. Yeah, they, they, they don't bread that out. They don't yeah. really have and, that. And real tender yeah. too. Yeah. My yeah. friend has has two excellent varieties. Yeah. Yeah. More citrus. This looks citrus. like grapefruit. That is, I got that, that one, the grapefruits are ripening right now. Whoa. Jabong or pomelo. We call them Whoa. jabong. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and I see jackfruit back there. Yeah. Wow. There's a jackfruit orchard over there. And then here's some breadfruit. Yeah, this is I seen one yesterday. My very first breadfruit. And look, there's two. At least two breadfruit this year. Yeah. Breadfruit. So I'm still delicious. How do you say it? Ule? Ulu. Ulu, that's right. Ulu. And this is the flower. Yeah, that's the male flower. Male flower and the fruit, the female. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get one nice. Yeah. Nice crop this year. Ulu. This one. Breadfruit. I never noticed. This year is the first year I noticed male yeah. flowers. Usually the male flower come out the year or two before, and then the female flowers start emerging wow. after that. He's just, I think he's got, the water was on, so Let's I think go the, we some got uh, the high winds, we got it really burned some of the, yeah. the leaves. But this place, uh, jackfruit. There it is, young jackfruit. So this is all seedlings that I seedlings. collected all yeah. from all around the state. Uh -huh. And I just kind of just threw them all in here. So like this row was all like Champadoc and Morong and they didn't make it out no. there. Too, it, not humid enough, no. I think. But jackfruit. That, that one is a Champadoc. That's my only Champadoc that survives. Yeah. But jackfruit does, jackfruit does super fine. good. Yeah. The leaves are all burnt up, yeah. I think, because of the wind right. uh, this last couple of days. But um, so far, I've, I've, I've tried like six or seven of these trees and so far three of them has been have been good oh you've already got harvest from yeah like that one is my favorite one but it only put out one this year how big was it oh about 20 pounds 20 pounds yeah from this, this yeah tree? <laughs> it was and it was so delicious man it was yeah. so and, much and a seedling, real a seedling right it was a seedling, seedling. yeah but and and, and it was different from any jackfruit I've ever seen. Yeah. A really small seed, because jackfruit seeds are like yeah. big, and these ones was really small compared. Uh -huh. And uh, and it was just sweet and firm, and yeah. And it didn't have that hor that bad smell that yeah. jackfruit gets sometimes. Wow. <laughs> so you get to name it now. Yeah, yeah. So this is <laughs> so I'm gonna graft from and this tree. Science, I'm right? gonna take yeah. from that tree. Yeah. And I'm gonna eventually cut down all the trees that are just like plain yeah. jackfruit, which most of them are just yeah. kind of like plain jackfruit. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? This looks like something. That is, um, is it coffee? Kwai mook. Kwai mook. Oh, kwai mook. Yeah. Woo! And actually had one fruit this year. Yeah. I've been getting tons of male flowers, but oh. no female flowers and had one fruit this year. Oh, okay. The very first one. But at this point, this yeah. is the third year of flowering. So I expect wow. to get some fruit this year. Wow. Kwaimuk is one of the interesting ones. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. So. Hi. <laughs> yeah, and this year I had not bad jackfruit. I already yeah. picked quite a bit of jackfruit off of these trees. I only was letting like one or two set Look at that per guys. tree. Look at this. This Sometimes tree is a little more. This tree is like, I would say, 10 feet tall and about 8 feet oh, wide. Oh, look. This look one. at this jackfruit. Woo! All right. Oh, we lost Beautiful. one. There's the overripe one on that one. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to have to come get it. But it's from the one, I yeah. think it's one of those that are just like plain. This is overripe? Yeah. Well, it might be just right. It mm. might be just right. <laughs> mm. It's nice. the other side of overripe. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the. Uh, I'll come back and get it. Yes. There's some trellis avocados. 
Yeah, these are my horribly managed <laughs> trailers. <laughs> Avocados on a trellis. I'm behind on yes. these guys. Yes, yes. I need to. Uh, this is my first time with, with yeah. avocados. We got a new bug that is that just arrived into Hawaii in 2019. Oh yes, I recognize one it. Day, I see it. I see it. In one year, it spread to yeah. almost all the islands. Yes, but the it's avocado right lace bug. The lace bug. Yeah. So that's, that's right. Fresh and yes, I recognize. But well, I lost the tree to lace bug. On on in California. California. Yes. Yeah, we have it. It's yeah. there. Yeah. It's horrible. I lost my. Uh, it spreads like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so he's been here for three years and yeah. like completely took over. So this yeah. one is avocado. The next one is mountain apple, uh -huh. which um I don't know what is. Yeah. But mountain apple is a CG. So we'll see. Yes. I uh yeah, these are in dire need of attention, but yes, they'll get yes, it. But yes. right now it makes it difficult to see. Yeah. Moving forward with avocados. Yeah. The lace bug is horrible, but this year is slightly better. So maybe natural predators are are catching up. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they'll create more of a balance yeah. than we saw in the first couple of years. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, now I learned my lesson. When I see it now, I quickly go and rub out the rub. little black pepper stuff that's under the leaf. Yep, I just, yep. I'll, just quickly hit yeah, them all I'll, out. I'll right? just, or I'll take a hose and knock it yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. It seems to work okay. It so does. Far. It yeah. does. It, yeah. it it knocks them down a little yeah. bit. Wow. But then, like, you cannot do that in the orchard. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of work. <laughs> and, like, even just spraying yeah. them with anything yeah. right. is a lot of work. It's right? a lot Especially of work. Especially if you That's have right. to do it every eight weeks or That's something, correct. right? So yeah. it's not even, like... Yep, uh, yep. But... Wow, this place is fast. It's a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on here. A lot, of, <laughs> a lot of cool trees. A lot of nature. A lot of stuff happening. Those are the sour sap guanabanas over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. A row of them on the mm -hmm. trellis. Guavas. Guavas. Which I see everywhere on the island. Yeah, they grow wild. Pretty. They grow wild and they're invasive everywhere. Yeah. And there's a field of mangoes way down there. That's the one that you're doing a different space. That's the newest, yeah. the, like wider space. Yeah. And this is a field of citrus. Uh, there's yeah. some avocados along that row there. And then those are the sugar apples. Let's go look at those. Yeah. So when when did you plant your first tree in this land? Uh, 2016, right? End of 2016. Whoa, seriously? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. That's when what? I started out here. Oh my goodness, it's only been six, seven years? Yeah. That's it? So it's just, right now it's just starting, right? So my mangoes I've been harvesting for about three years, but then like everything else is just starting this year or last year. The citrus. Wow. The jackfruit. That is... So. Wow, you've been busy. You're a busy man. <laughs> That's only six, seven years, guys. Everything you see here, only six, seven years, everything got planted. So it's, it's whoa, man. That's amazing. Everything's still maturing. So this is the fiberless sour sound. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. It's really nice. You can just spoon it out, yeah. and it doesn't have that. I like the fiber. I like the regular sour sap too, but uh -huh. then the fiberless one is actually pretty nice. Look at this. Yeah. Sugar apple. Ooh, beautiful fruit purple so this year i went through and i hand pollinated you hand pollinated yeah okay. and, and so and i think so last year i only had three fruit on okay. all of these trees and mm -hmm. so this year i was like i'm gonna come in and hand pollinate because i seen a lot of the beetles that pollinate but they were only in the male flowers and i or in the female in the male flowers and i never seen them in the female flowers okay so i went through and, and hand pollinated and because of that you know we got i got a lot of the the nice shaped fruit, the good yeah. shaped fruit. Yeah. And not as much of this one here. Like you can see, like this one has a little bit poor pollination and you get a misshapen yeah. fruit, right? Yep. And so that hadn't pollinating really, really made nice fruit. Makes a difference. But yeah. we have a buggy that is, that causes damage to the fruit throughout here. Oh, no. So I've only found it, found out about it this year. Mm. So I think in the future, might have to bag the yeah. fruit. Yeah. Yeah. There's another tree there. I'm trying to find the right amount that each branch can have <laughs> and still maintain size, right? Because yeah. like if everyone was this yeah. size, right? Look at the size of that. That's good. This one is good shaping too. Yeah. This one is... So when do you harvest these? Uh like when like this one when when we start to see that pink oh, that's on right. the bottom, yeah. when you start to separate. 
Mm-hmm. Like that, then you know it still take it'll still take four or five days to ripen, mm-hmm. right? At that point, so, which yeah. is perfect if you're trying to sell it, right? Right. You can yeah. let it go a little bit more until it starts to actually crack. Okay. And then there's only a day away from. Wow. From Beautiful. Fully ripe. Have you tried growing cherimoya here at all? Uh, down here is too hard, too hot, too, too hot, too dry. Right. Okay. Okay. There's a couple of climates in Hawaii yeah. that do well a little I, bit higher I elevation. I think I saw one tree up in the Waimea Canyon. Yeah. And maybe. It looked maybe. like it, but I don't know if it was. Yeah. Wow, these are great. You know, what variety is this? I don't know. Yeah. They just, uh, purple, purple sweet sap. Yeah. <laughs> is yeah. what they call them here. Yeah. All right. We're back at the mangoes. Oh, and there's coconuts over there. Wow, let's go look at those. Coconut. So the plan with these mangoes is to you after harvest you're gonna you cut them and do you plan to graft onto these or no these are these are not I'm not planning on grafting onto these I just wanted to take down the size all oh, of yeah. it so that's right I did a heavy pruning and it'll probably skip a year of flowering okay. because of that but then I need it needed to happen yeah 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 <laughs> okay need to reclaim some of that space yeah. Oh, these, these ones that I really took down low, yes. those ones will be grafted on new, new varieties. Yeah. Those ones are common mangoes. This is a great, this is a great candidate to graft onto different varieties. You yeah. see the way he cut the tree? He left three scaffold branches that can take, well, if you're like a crazy person like me from California who have no space, we would put as many varieties as oh, I can. Yeah. But for if you're doing orchard management, I don't know what. How many varieties would you I'm put on? I'm only going to put two varieties. Two varieties on here. <laughs> okay. But only yeah. because I want to try to breed them. Yeah. I want to try to cross yeah. them, so I'm going to try. I'm going to put two varieties yeah. that I'd hope to get some crosses with. Okay, that's that's clever, man. I like I like that because that that way you can come up with new varieties. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a fashion kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. It's gonna take 20 years to sort itself out. Yeah, it takes time, it takes time, <laughs> but it's worth it because you can always come up with so really like these cool ones. These ones I cut down last year and now they're kind of ready to, yeah. to top work. Yes. Uh, this one and that one right there? This one right here. Yeah. So that's a year's worth of growth. Just about. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go in and top work a bunch of those and see what I get. I usually get really good success with top working. Yeah. Yeah. What time of year do you graft? Oh, all year. All year long. The only years, the only months I kind of avoid is December mm. and May. For some reason, I always do horrible in May. <laughs> so, yeah. so I kind of stay away from May and December. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but, yeah. Uh, but if I try to get a variety, I would graft all year round. Yeah. As yeah. long as the scion is yeah is ready. Wow, long end. Yeah. Yeah. These was these got neglected. Yeah. So the other fruit is small, but you can help yourself. They're they're all ripe. Sure. And they're really sweet, but they, the seed is there's hardly any flesh in them. Mm. If I water them and fertilize mm. them better, mm. it would actually be a lot. Wow, bigger. that's still really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Longin. Yeah. Look at the flesh. These grow good. Mm-hmm. Apparently in kick off, lychee, mm-hmm. not as good. <laughs> yeah. Light, lychee needs that cool, yeah, that cool dry winter, and yeah. we get a cool dry, but not cool enough. Not cool enough. Yeah. Or, um, yeah. The old timers they say six, sixty-two degrees, and it hit sixty-two degrees, and you got a dry spell followed by rain. You can follow it flowers, but. But it's so hot and dry out there. This is groff lychee. The rest is uh, kaimana lychee. Kaimana is really the only consistent lychee that we have in Hawaii, and then groff is probably the next best. And then we have three or four other varieties that are are decent. You know, all the varieties is good because they come with different flavors. Right. But then some are not. They're just good for backyard. Wow. Kind of, you know? Okay. And then this, these coconuts are they different varieties? Mm. Or are they just local ones? Yeah, they ones? are, but I just picked them from the ground. Yeah. Okay. 
So I have like three or four of these trees right here, and they're the best ones. They're low bearing, and, but they're not really low. Look at the load. Nice quality, mate. Look at the load on this tree. Whoa! So many coconuts. Yeah. And this tree is not tall at all for a coconut. Yeah. I wish Look at all the like coconuts. <laughs> Amazing. So some of them, like, man, they're so tall already. Nah. They hardly give <laughs> any fruit. Yeah. So, like, uh, this I'm going to start downing and poking that tree. This one here looks different. Looks like a different variety. These are yellow. A little bit different. A little bit different. They are a little bit different. Yeah. Woo! This place is beautiful, man. Citrus. Oh, here's the nursery. Look at all those mango trees that are ready to get planted. He has a few varieties here. These are the up and coming varieties that are gonna go in the ground. He has some nice ones. Lalijiwa. This one. I saw a good one. Turpentine. Topa. Where is it? Julie. I'm a big fan of this one. Julie mango. Woo. So good. And then I saw a carry here too. Which I'm yeah, also a, a fan. Julies and carries in the ground. Carry mango. Yeah, you do. Yeah, on the okay. back field there, but yeah. they're still young and not yeah. really producing yet. So. Uh, here's some big mango really. trees, thick trunks in a small pot. They should. They look like they want to go in the ground. There's more mango trees here. R2 E2. Glen. Glen. Nice. More mango trees, different tropicals here. What are these? Citrus. Citrus. Rootstock. Rootstock. Banana. Banana. Citrus. Figs. Mami Americana. I don't know what that is. That, one's, that one is Ure. That one is, I, I want to get good. Ure is a Ure? native Australian plum. This one? No, that one right oh. there. That, I mean, uh, it's not a prunus, so okay. It's, uh, but uh, but it looks like plums. Uh -huh. and it grows in clusters like grapes and yes, really beautiful sour plum. But it makes yeah. good jam. Yeah, and figs too. Figs, star fruit, amazing. Peanut butter, bilimbi. <laughs> I don't know. Dang, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah, yeah. It's not just. Sapote, yeah. Uh, chiku. Wait, you, Madrono, you, you have the you have the land. You can experiment with these yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is wampy. Yeah. I, I like wampy. It's a attractive and yeah. nice fruit. This is the grafting situation here. These are the late the ones that are some mango grass. Unlikely to succeed. Here's one that looks like it's taken. It might. It's the, these are the oldest. All the other ones already kind of went off. Raposa. All right. Uh, and then some. I did. Some passion fruit. <coughs> you grafting. grafted passion fruit? This is uh -huh. an interspecies hybrid. Uh -huh. And I'm hoping it's a little hardier yes. than the purple variety that we yes, have. Our purple yes. variety is more upland. And so they don't yes. do real well out here down here. But mm. we'll see. This this variety is a little bit more mm -hmm. hardy, so I'm hoping to get better production. Okay. Cool. Yeah. More mangoes. More mangoes all over the place. And I cut my mangoes in half yeah. this year. <laughs> Dragon fruit. Yeah. Dragon fruit. I know, this is my Beautiful. nursery stuff. <laughs> More dragon fruit. Oh, wow. Lots of dragon fruit. Yeah, we try, you can try to dig through there and see if you can find anything good. And there's more dragon fruit here. Lots and lots of dragon fruit. It's amazing. And we're here now at a look like a more looks like a more established uh, yeah, little so orchard. This was the original field, yeah. But the movie had big trees in it, and yeah. then I converted it to identity after. Yeah. So my next round will come through here, and I'll take out the four big rows. Beautiful mangoes. Looks like keat. 
Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. definitely. Cheese, lemon zest. This one has a couple different varieties, R2E2. You're growing lemon zest? Uh, right there in the between the, there's lamb that's my at the end and then lemon zest. <clears throat> Another lemon zest. We know, guys, this is how you could tell Umi's a, a real gardener, orchard man. He recognizes each of these trees, the variety, even though they have, don't have fruit on them. That's how you know he spends a lot of time out here. I forgot about this tree. All the mango is right. What is this one? This is Manzanillo. Oh, yeah? Uh, Look at the size of that mango. Whoa, these are the small, these are like, these, these do about two, two and a quarter pounds each year. That one's dirty, kind of Big mango. Yeah. Oh, something really big. Yeah. They're not quite ready to eat. One Whoa. more day. Beautiful. Yeah, the Manzanillo is one of the more beautiful mangoes yeah. we have. Yeah, looks great. The only problem, the main problem is, look at this, is, is this beetle, this uh, yeah. oriental flower good. beetle, man, oh, oh the they're beetle. horrible. But they don't damage the fruit, they just take advantage of damaged fruit. Mm. Interesting. Look at this tree. I, uh, I, I actually, oh, this just fell off. Yeah, I haven't been here in a couple of weeks, because I've been catching up on some, some animals other stuff. Been here. Yeah, it's... Any ripe mango is overripe, to tell you the truth, on the trees. The wow. keeps, if the keeps is fully ripe, yeah. then they're overripe on the tree. Mm. <laughs> you can just toss it all. I want to bite into this one. I know you do, but it's going to be overripe. <laughs> I'll bite into it anyway. Is it okay? <laughs> Guys, watch this, okay? Oh. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah. I don't care if it's overripe. That's fantastic. Mm. Okay, now I'll throw it then. Yeah, yeah, take it. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. So this this was my original yeah. trees that I came with. I had I had 50 trees in pots that was like five years old by the time I got this land. Mm -hmm. And so when I first came out here, that's what I had. But by then it was like almost all the labels were lost already. So I didn't mm. even know what variety yeah. it was. There. And so I just planted everything that I had. <clears throat> it turned out I had mostly keeps. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of Nam Dak Mai. Yeah. But everything that I thought was, all the keeps I thought was Raposa because they came to me mislabeled. So like all the keeps I thought was Raposa but were keeps and everything I thought was Raposa was, was not Raposa. Right. Right, These right. are the Nam Dak Mai. Nam Dak Mai. Nice. Nice Thai variety. Yeah, these are good. I like yeah. them. Very, very sweet. Very sweet. Different sweet. Like intensely sweet. Like the kids are very, very, very sweet. Yeah. You know, so it's like a different sweet because yeah. it doesn't have as much acid. So it's like right. a metal Yeah, kind yeah, of exactly. Sweet, no acid. Know? Yeah, no acid. Very, just all sugar. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing, man. Look at this. Just tree after tree after tree. Yeah, that is a Mahajanu. There's a few Mahajanus in here. Mm -hmm. as well. Wow. The, the Nandak mines are nice because they're slow growers, right? So, uh -huh. at least for a little while, they're slow growing. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll catch up. But... Wow. Yeah, so this year, I have to take out the, the four big rows. Yeah. It's a nice big tree. That's a Hayden. Hayden. Hayden's are the biggest tree. Yeah. <laughs> Most biggest of the trees. Yeah. Right? This is a keep, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one's a white peary. Still got some young mangoes this one? on it. Those ones came in like maybe April, May was the season this year. Real early. So your trees flower at 
They collect all the flower round. all different times. Yeah, yeah, all year round. Yeah. I try to get some kind of uniformity, but yeah. I cannot gra I cannot prune fast enough. Oh, okay. To get the uniform. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's what it really takes me. If I could come in here and prune everything in a couple of days. Yeah. Then I could maybe get some yeah. maybe more uniformity. Because yeah. I cannot oh, flower in all kinds of different times. Yeah. This is a this is the white peri, right? Yeah. This is a beautiful mango. And really tastes really good too. It just doesn't get any sweeter than this yeah. one. This is a great mango. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. This is my passion fruit, but I let the guinea grass kind of take over. Yeah. So now I've got to obliterate this view. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. You said you have some... Julie, I think it might have a Julie. I don't know, I, I yeah. swear I'd plant Julie out here. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Julie doesn't graft very good. Yeah, yeah. From my experience so yeah. far. Yeah. Like, I've done at least 100 Julie grafts, and so far yeah. I've got three successful grafts. That is Raposa. Oh, Raposa. Mm-hmm. Different variety. Whoa! Lots of game birds. Whoa, that bird just flew off. <laughs> that, I don't know what that was, a Franklin. What uh? What's the? Is there a pest that besides the beetles and stuff? Is there something that? Well, we have fruit flies. We have mango seed weevil. Are there pigs that come in? Oh, well, pigs, man! Pigs yeah. eat everything. The first yeah. couple of years, yeah. until I got my fence in. Oh, okay. Pigs eat okay. everything. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Because of the low trees, man. Yeah, that's a problem. Here. And then once the trees got big enough, then I could get at least a 10% on the yeah, top. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're but, aggressive. But when the trees are small, oh, yeah. they eat everything. Wow. Because like, I trap them, but like after a while, they learn to trap and then, yeah. and then you just cannot get them. Those are Mahajanuk. This one's great. This is a tasty beautiful stringless all the characteristics that you'd expect yeah. malforming yeah and yeah but the color is i mean yeah it's amazing color look at this small tree holding a huge mango <laughs> i love i love seeing this when the mango is huge and the tree is small that's, it, that's <laughs> all you could handle <laughs> two fruit huh? yeah yes Wow, man, this is amazing. Yeah. More keep, looks like keep. Yeah. This one, also keep. There's the graft lying down there. You can see where the graft is done. Mm -hmm. It's done right here, down there. Even in a mature tree like this. Yeah. So you do put mulch down. I mean, that's this grass? Oh, it's like oh. the plastic mulch? Yeah. I put it for, for these, these rows. Yeah. And I started using them, but I moved away from them. Okay. Because they're great for the first two yeah. years. Yeah. And then after that, it's just like, oh. Everything starts growing through them, and so yeah. I like pull, I got to pull them off already. Yeah. Maha Chanuk, right? It looks yeah. like it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, I actually want to get a variety. That's not a mango. That's the variety. Yeah. Another. Wow. So, what's your favorite mango? Uh, uh, <laughs> changes every year. Changes every year, okay. Every year. Yes. Because every year is different. <laughs> yeah. That's and right. Then, you know, they're all good. Yeah. They, they help you eat more mangoes because they get different flavors. Yeah. You stick of one, <laughs> you go to the next yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is great, man. I'm so happy I came. <laughs> Thanks for letting me come over. Yeah. There's another field there. Jabalakaba. Oh, okay. On this first row, but they don't like the soil out here. No? Because it's too alkaline. Oh, they okay. They really like acidic soils. Okay. 
I try hard and I got a couple to grow nice. <laughs> okay. They, they, fro they fruited this year. Okay. So last year for the first time. And yeah. I put, I grafted some new varieties. Oh yeah? Um, and some of them grow better. Right? Yeah. This is like, this is a new a grafted. Yeah, you could tell it's a different variety. variety. Yeah, bigger leaves. and Bigger leaf. And healthier leaves. Smaller leaf. Healthier leaf. Grafted down there. And that one has three varieties on it. And yes. I think you know, I might just take out the rest of everything <laughs> of this whole section. Yeah. Already, and just leave this guy. Yeah. It's growing so nice. Yeah, it looks good. So much nicer. Yeah. And, but I need to like uh, foliar feed. Right. Yeah. Because of the soil. And it yeah. So it, when I do that, then I get good growth. Yeah. But the leaves turn yellow pretty quickly. Yes. And they need water. Yeah. They love water. They need water more than your other trees, right? Yeah, you can just cannot, you cannot water jump yeah. on the top of your mouth. You uh, can take whatever you can give them. <laughs> okay. Speaking about watering your mangoes, yeah. how often do they need water? Or do they uh, even need water? You know, they do need water in order to produce good fruit. Okay. They don't need water to survive the next year. Yeah, right. And so you kind of fall into that trap where uh. the tree looks perfectly fine, but mm -hmm. then like one, if you don't give them water, like right now where we haven't had rain since, uh, April, then the fruit gonna come out smaller. Okay. Okay. Right. So yeah. So I get drip emitters on all of these, and drip emitters good for the first two years, and mm -hmm. because they're so high density, sprays don't really. There's no real good sprays that you can use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but once they get established, man, they need more water. Yeah. Than drip can give. So that's kind of what I've been okay. working on is figuring yeah. out more <laughs> getting more spread right more spread. drip drip goes deep but it doesn't get that spread, that spread. It needs. yes yes and so yes. i've been using sprinkler emitters and those have been working a little bit better, okay at least for the citrus yeah cool yeah so this is i don't know mostly mostly raposa raposa in here but then i also have mapulehu yeah harvin carry uh, these are a little bit younger trees like. Glow, I think, I yeah. Know. Wow. Maui variety. Lots of keep. Keep. <laughs> yes. 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 But, uh, yeah. And I see some uh, carambola. Some oh, star yeah. fruit. Mm -hmm. look. Let's go look at these guys. My neglected field. <laughs> These ones are not very good because they're just seedlings, but these ones yeah. are, are grafted varieties and they're really, really good. Okay. I mean, they're producing. Wow. Not quite right yet. Yeah. And then these guys are acerola, acerola cherries. The bar the bar wow, these are huge. I know, man. they're so big. Wow, they're beautiful. They're super hard to manage. Yeah, right? I have one at home. No, I have two at home. Yeah. They're not even close to this size. Yeah. But they taste really good. I really, I really them. like them. They're, they're really good. Here's they're one. I see one. But the birds leave you very short time. There's one right there. To be able to get them. Well, I've been trying to reclaim. Like, I tried, I tried to reclaim this guy, but whew, the suckers is nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> From the bottom. Wow. Well, I like it. I like that. Yeah. Acerola. Yeah, it's really good. And then this is the early, the lonely tree we saw. Lonely peanut butter fruit. One little peanut butter fruit out here, all by itself. Peanut butter fruit. There's the flowers. No fruit yet. So. Very beautiful place. Lots of old growth trees over there. Old growth fruit trees. It's like become a jungle, a fruit jungle over there. That's your watering system? Yeah. yeah. Well, this guy, he just gets neglected since he's the only one left. I had all trees planted in here, but oh, I yeah? didn't have the water set up, oh, so okay. it was all from hand watering oh. with a water hose, and it wasn't getting enough. Oh, no. So they all died. 
Dude. What did you have for it? This is what the avocados were? I had... I had some like uh, Gorka, a little you know, uh, Garcinia, big and yellow and oh, okay. sour and really delicious but sour. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. And uh, that was a flying dragon citrus uh -huh. for root stock. And I had like blackberry jam fruit. Okay. I can't remember. I had all kind of different varieties. These two patches, this is my month uh, outro trees in it. See if they grow in our uh -huh. Oh, okay. So like yeah. durian, I put durian. Yeah. Oh, it just did not <laughs> yeah. This one had the ure. Yeah. Yeah. A couple ure in this one. It didn't yeah. make at all. Yeah. But uh, but to me it was the watering that was the biggest right, issue. Right, right, right. Yeah. And so now I have a friend who just started. He wanted to do a food forest and show me how he can produce. Yes. Yes. Do a food forest. So I said, well, I yeah. I can use all my trees. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a different style. It's you a know. different style. You have ultra high density. You try a few different styles. This food forest style is its own style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's its own style. Yeah, yeah. I thought give me an opportunity to just grow in trees that yeah. you can see if they're going to do well here. Yes. Experimental area. Experimental. Yeah, yeah. Well, this whole thing is experimental. Oh, yeah. I thought this was going to be <laughs> my orchard. Yeah. But it turns out like this is my experimental yeah. field. This is my varieties field. Yeah. And then maybe when I expand out of this field that could be more focused in okay. one variety yeah that could be multiple varieties yeah that's so, so cool yeah. Like, yeah you have the space to try a lot of different things <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah this is citrus too this one yeah this is the same thing jamberry lemon yeah the leaves look not like a citrus to me no a little bit different jamberry lemon i've never heard of this one that is more indian, indian lemon yeah and you said it's good for lemonade but not really good. not good for yeah because it gets big yeah. and they're bumpy and so they yeah. don't make good garnishing okay lemons but they're good and juicy and real productive yeah. real productive you know like citrus is sometimes they they, they like the coldness a lot right. more this right. is more of a more closer to tropical citrus. yeah yeah uh, Very cool. Rangpur lime. Rangpur lime is one of the two Mandarin lime species yeah. that we have. So people love this. They're great. They're lime. People love the Rangpur lime. They look just like lemon. Uh, they look like tangerine, so they trick people. The people who <laughs> have this one and try it, they, people tend to really, really love this one. Yeah, they, Rangpur it's, lime. It's really it's a nice, nice flavor. There's some people who Real productive. Yeah. Back home in California, some people are obsessed with this. Really? It's all they want, all they ever talk about. <laughs> funny, because yeah. over here, everybody's like, what is this? Yeah. Or they get disappointed when they yeah, it's not they a think it's a, a mandarin yeah. orange, and then they get disappointed that it's a lime. Is this the, is this the same? <laughs> yeah. Rank poor. <laughs> yeah. Really productive. Really, really productive, nice. and here's the fruit. Yeah, it looks a lot like a mandarin. Yeah, just but like. But it's a lime. Just like tangerine. Mmm. That's why I have a hard time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is, I don't know what is this. This is a lemon, but I have no idea where it came from, what it is. It, see, it doesn't have any thorns on it. So I assume it's on graft or an air layer. Yeah. But I have very few air layers. So it's not something that I had air layer. So I think it's a graft. Okay. Yes. But it has no thorns on it. Okay. Really productive. It's... Never, it's usually a little bit bigger than this, but it's a lemon. Yes. But I have no idea what it wow. is. Wow. <laughs> Mystery. 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 <laughs> that is papita. Yeah. Papita is a uh, sour citrus. Yeah. This is from Fiji? Uh, no, I'm not sure. Papita. Fruit fly. Oh. But uh, it's, it has a nice flavor yeah. to me, but it's a sour. It's like a... Yeah. There's lemons and there's limes and there's papita. Oh, it's different. Yeah, mm. but then it's one of the, it's well known, and it's a sour fruit. Yeah, and it has like a white bulb. Some are juicier than others, but it has a slightly different sour flavor than lemon or lime. So it's a papita. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Some seeds. Okay, yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So it's to be good for cooking. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I haven't figured out how I could market this yet. Mm. <laughs> so 
<laughs> but I have a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I, I cannot spend the time educating every chef on the island. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. How to use for pita, but it's, yeah. it's tasty. It has a unique flavor, and yeah, I can see how I could use it for cooking. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Uh, or maybe I could also use it for juice and to produce a different flavored lemonade or lime, mm. you know, yeah. papita aid, but papita. slightly different than <laughs> unique, you know, that's the, yeah. like, how do you differentiate, differentiate your lemonade from everybody else's mm -hmm. lemonade when yeah. all of them is kind of taste the same way. So yep. I was hoping I could get a different flavor from this. Yeah. Same with the, the Kona limes or the Rangpur limes. Rangpur, yeah. Yeah, I can get a little different flavor and different color in the yeah. in the limeade. Yeah, it has a little unique flavor too. Yeah, it does definitely like a calamansi. Yeah, you know this uh -huh. is slightly different. Yeah, is that a finger lime? You going? Yeah, You're trying it? Finger lime. Look at this finger lime, man. That is a tangelo. Finger lime. Look at the leaves, so different than other citrus. So different. This is another native Australian. Yes. So. Beautiful. The fruit are coming, they're getting bigger. Yep. I just hit prune them yesterday for the first time, so I, I'm actually liking it now. This thing is like going to war for pick this thing. There's so yeah. much thorns on them. Yeah, you'll. But, uh, <laughs> but it's so interesting, but this is another one that is like, well, how do you market it? No. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, it's like a caviar. It, yeah. Like, look how, look how great this is. A whole bunch of hundreds of little like eggs. little balls yeah. like like fish eggs yes i mean exactly, exactly like fish eggs it's so mm -hmm. amazing yeah really good flavor too really strong and it even has a pop yeah. like yeah. the fish egg pops like an egg yes so like on a salad as a garnish on a mm -hmm. salad i mean absolutely mm -hmm. and it tastes just like a lime yeah, so it's it delicious really good. i like these mm -hmm. and no animal will try to get into it yeah because there's <laughs> little you will get they have so many thorns it's oh, hard to so pick many thorns. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Great. Beautiful, man. That's the mango tree we saw first. Can you see that? All right. These are our lemons. Yeah. These don't, they just don't turn color here until do you, they overrun. Do you grow mandarins or tangerines? Yeah, I mean, right there you get yeah. clementines. Oh, okay. And they're just about ripe. I'm letting them go a couple more days. Maybe one more week. Yeah. So with the clementines, because they're seeded, if you want them seedless, you have to cover them. Okay. When they're flowering. If you cover them and you keep the bees off, then they'll be seedless. But if you don't, then they get seeded, but they're still delicious. This is the clementine? Yeah. Clementine. Which is the cuties, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes, yes. Very cool. Yeah, so these ones are good, but I, yeah. I got a couple seedless tangerines this year in the ground hopefully they'll do good this is that variegated mm -hmm. lemon i think eureka lemon yeah, yeah. the pink lemon is pink yeah. on the inside these are cool very cool there you go wow and then the rest are oranges yeah oh, there's a lot going on here guys a lot happening this is exciting all right <laughs> 